Guruji, how could I get detached from all relationships? Why you want to re- detach from relationship? Because it gives pain. Right? Why it gives pain? Because you have not the broad vision about life. All relationships are few days, few months, few years. But life is much bigger. So, instead of trying to detach yourself from relationship, what is best for you to do is expand your awareness. Listen to more Ashtavakra knowledge, not just once, again and again. And keep your thoughts on the Brahman, on the infinity, the great energy. Everything is part of it, everybody is manifesting of, uh, manifestation of it. So. That's why that is called Brahmacharya. Brahma means the infinity. Charya is moving in it. Having your mind moving in the divinity. Not focused and limited. That man said this, this lady said this, this, is that. You know, that little mindedness, all right, trying to pick something on others. And then you get into craving and aversion. Aversion and craving. This moves, this. This goes on forever. Mm. So expand your vision, be more in the spiritual knowledge. Know that everybody, every human being is like a bubble in the water. How long do they stay? Mm. Cloud in the sky, how long do they say stay? Like that everything is temporary, ephemerical. Guruji, I am confused in how Krishna movement, they say surrender to Krishna and the process will take you to the spiritual world. You say surrender to me and let go of all your problems. So what is the process in art of living to get back to the spiritual world? (laughs) This is it. And Krishna also said, those who see me in everything, in everybody, and me in everybody, everybody in me, are the most intelligent. Why you forgot that? Yeah. And also he said, I come every year, I will keep coming in every age. Right? Guruji, I keep holding on to the past how great everything was. I know I have to let go, but everything, I catch myself busy with the past. What to do? What did you say? (laughs) That was in the past, never mind. (laughs) Now, yeah. Guruji, in what way Seva helps for meditation? Yeah, when you do seva, whoever, to whomsoever you do seva, or wherever, whatever, that brings some positive energy, merits. When you do seva, what is happening? It brings some positive effects, merits to you. And it's merit that allows you to go deep in meditation. If you are not able to go deep in meditation, it is because you are only selfish, all the time thinking about yourself. But if you have done any seva, little bit, any service in society, that that brings more and more merits. The merit allows you to meditate deeper. Mm. One of the one of the fact, not the only. Guruji, I have some difficulties applying the AOL principles and values at work. 
you know principle get applied spontaneously naturally don't have to make an effort to apply any principle what principle accept people as they are when it is already in the back of the mind you will start doing it automatically so none of the art of living principles are such you have to force yourself to apply got it hmm keep equanimity whether success or failure that happens spontaneously haven't you noticed after you do pranayama kriya and all now you feel much much better uh, mentally physically and emotionally you feel stronger to handle situation how many of you feel that way look at almost everybody everyone feels better so things get better like that live in the present moment i see and that also start happening most spontaneously right guru ji why at times things appear to happen with a plan to disturb peace in one self and there is one more why people behave irrationally in spite of our best efforts well do you always behave rationally ask this question do you behave irrationally that's how everybody everyone is nothing but a reflection of you you are nothing but a reflection of others so if their behavior is immature they need more time to mature yeah have patience or they lack knowledge so give them knowledge yes is useless to sit and see why others are like that you know we worry about things that are happening or oh, why it is happening why so and so is like that you should stop this you should turn and see what you are doing you have control on what you can do or you are doing you have no control on what is happening by others or in situation we do the other way around we don't take notice of what you are doing how you behave what is your attitude what is happening inside and which you have control you don't look at it but you try to control others you try to control the situation and you start blaming them which you can't do anything about it did you get it you have no control over others mind and you try to control others mind you can have a say on your own mind which you don't look at it at all isn't it the world is unhappy because of this you know if we stop trying to control what is happening and have a say in what you are doing then you become much more stronger effective powerful successful and happier that is it that's it for today